In this video, we will show you how to set SpreadJS and SpreadJS's Excel I.O. module license keys in your application. For this example, we are starting with a project that has SpreadJS initialized and deployed locally with no key set. To properly set the license keys, set them before creating a workbook instance. When using the Excel I.O. module of SpreadJS with the Angular framework, be sure to do so separately. Not setting the Excel I.O. module key properly will result in a licensing error displayed on the spread control. Here we are setting an evaluation license key. Notice how the evaluation watermark displays the number of days left before the key will expire. Next, we will set a SpreadJS distribution license key. The distribution license key can then be used to license your application and no longer see a watermark. You have now licensed your application to use SpreadJS. Two common licensing errors that customers experience are the license not found and invalid license errors. The license not found error can be seen in the spread instance or on a black screen. If the error is being displayed in the spread instance, this is most likely due to the Excel I.O. license key not being set. This can be fixed by setting the license key for SpreadJS's Excel I.O. The black screen error commonly occurs when the license key has been set after the workbook creation rather than before. Here is an example of a project where the SpreadJS license key was set after the workbook instance. Once we copy and paste this key before any instance of the workbook and save it, we will see that the error is gone. Our licensing will check to see if a proper key is being set prior to workbook creation. The invalid license error can be seen in the spread instance or on a black screen. If you see this error displayed in the spread instance, import the license key for the Excel I.O. module. This needs to be set separately from SpreadJS's license key. It is important to note that the Excel I.O. module and SpreadJS license key will be the same. The invalid license error accompanied by a black screen occurs when either SpreadJS is being deployed on the wrong domain name or the license key and SpreadJS references are not for the same version. The SpreadJS licensing process requires the customer to generate a distribution license key that lists the domain name meant for SpreadJS deployment. This error is seen when SpreadJS is deployed on a domain whose name was not included on the key when it was generated to a license. SpreadJS must be deployed to the exact domain listed on the key. This distribution scenario shows five host names that would all require their own hostname deployment license. For additional information on host names licenses, please reach out to our sales team. Here is an example of a distribution license key being deployed on the wrong domain. You can tell which specific domains were included in the license by looking at the beginning of the license key. You will see the domain names listed. Once we set our application with a key for the correct domain, this error disappears. SpreadJS keys are version-specific, so both the key and the release files being referenced must be the same version. Here is an example of a project that referenced the SpreadJS version 13 release, but had a key set for version 14. To upgrade our project and fix this error, we will change the release version to match the version of our license. 